Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's take a look again at the euro currency. Well, we see that market yesterday has shown some upward direction that, in general, uh, we have discussed and we have thought that it should happen based on the patterns that have been formed yesterday on the intraday charts. On the daily time frame, this uh, situation and this action, yesterday's action, has been wider mm, sense, wider meaning, because by this action, in fact, market has confirmed the double repo failure pattern because if we treat this action as the double repo or double repo look alike never mind uh, by this close market has shown the failure double repo double repo failure pattern because here we ha have first close below the 3 by 3 this line is the 3 by 3 moving average close above it close below the close below, second close below, is confirmation bar of the pattern. And if then market shows the close above 3 by 3 and above the 618 resistance of this move, that will be the pattern that confirms, uh, sorry, the candle that confirms the double repo failure. What does it mean for us? Well, the double repo failure as the directional double repo also is the uh, directional pattern by the Jude Napoli. And this pattern assumes that market should start move opposite to original pattern. It means that market should start move to the upside. How far this move will be, the double repeller pattern doesn't specify. It just tells that some action to the upside should follow uh, and market should continue move uh, within the direction of the previous thrust because the reversal pattern has failed. That's the first issue that we have on the daily time frame. The second issue is take a look. We've got the second, we have the uh, stop grabber pattern that have been poured here, still valid. That is not the stop grabber because trend was bearish previously and market just have shifted to the bullish yesterday again. So probably we could treat the, this section as the stop grabber today's stop grabber. Sometimes this happens as well. But in general this penetration and return right back of the MACD predictor line happens very often and usually suggests some upward acceleration. So I think that in the nearest term, nearest sessions we will see the upward continuation. By the way, let's check where was this close. Close 132.57 MACD 132.59. So that was below this line. Okay. In general, this development uh, points on the potential upward acceleration. So we probably should search the possibility for enter on the long side of the market. If you uh, didn't follow our trading, our yesterday's trading plan, if you have followed to it, probably you already have the long position. And all that you have to do is just move your stop to the break even where you have entered here on the 4-hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, we see that trend also bullish. You can see how stop grabbers have worked here. This was in fact perfect market has taken out of these highs. That was the target of these stop grabbers and that uh, gives us an opportunity to move your stop to the break even and shifting to the trading of the daily stop grabber pattern. Of this pattern that suggests the taking out of these highs. That could happen by for instance this ABCD pattern that now is developing here on the 4 hour time frame. The target of this ABCD pattern stands in agreement with the weekly pivot resistance ones, 133.55 area. So I think that that will be our next uh, target, short term target on the 4 hour time frame. Currently market stands at 618 extension, that's the minor extension of that ABCD pattern and retracement should not too deep after the hitting of this minor target. Probably market just could finish with this small uh, consolidation as some pause in the upward action. That will be probably sufficient 
to uh, uh, respect the minor 618 target, which market should continue move to the upside because bullish patterns are valid. Market has formed the double report failure pattern. Trends are bullish currently, so so I do not see any bearish um, signals, bearish pattern that could point on the potential reversal or something of that sort. Well, that will be the uh, minimum target, I suppose, on the on the four-hour time frame that market should reach in the nearest future. On the hourly time frame, we see a bit larger perspective. That could be the butterfly that we also have discussed. And take a look. Uh, the target of the butterfly stands around 133.85 uh, area, 127 extension. And 127 extension of this pattern, A, B, C, bottom, also stands approximately in this area. Whether market will hit it or not, it will be difficult to predict because uh, before that we have also significant area as we have just discussed, 133.50 area. Well, so let's be focused first on this area and later we will see whether the market will continue move higher or not. But currently I, th I see that it's really significant chances that market should taken out of these highs, grabbing the stops that have been placed here and reach at minimum this area.